We're here today at Mallee Cliffs National Park where six months ago AWC together with the New South Wales National Parks and Wildlife Service reintroduced 50 bilbies um, into the park as part of an exciting new reintroduction project to restore the greater bilby to a part of its former range where it's been absent from from well over a century. Since the bilbies were reintroduced into the park, we've undertaken uh, a couple of health check surveys on them at three months and at six months. And over that time, what we've seen is that their overall body condition and weight has increased in that time. So that just shows us that this environment uh, is providing all the right resources they need to thrive. And that following that move from the source environments, they've yeah, been able to adapt and settle in pretty well. We've got a, a young bilby here, it's about 500 grams it represents the first generation of bilbies born in the park. So you'll see as I let this one go, it's very small, but it's in fantastic condition. And yeah, they're clearly thriving in their, their new environment. At this point in time, six months after release, we're seeing animals at different stages of development. We're seeing some that were the pouch young that we released um, during the original translocation. So these animals are now about 900 grams. They're, uh, they're entering a stage where they're basically teenage bilbies running around. Then we're also now seeing the first new generation of animals that were conceived and born into the park. Uh, they're also now independent, so they've left their mothers and they're about 500 grams in size. They're incredibly cute, and, but they're just starting to make their way into the population. And now we're also at a point where we're starting to see the second generation of pouch young inside the, the, the pouches of the mothers. So it's a, it's a really great sign and you know it really underscores the importance of these projects that we can ensure the future of such an amazing Australian animal in the long term. So bilbies were once widely distributed across Australia and they occupied uh, an array of different habitat types and uh, now given extensive uh, land clearing and predation by introduced predators, competition with feral herbivores. They're restricted to a small number of habitat remnants across the country. And a big part of our work here at AWC is to reintroduce them to parts of that former range uh, into areas where they're protected from cats and foxes, such as the one here at Mallee Cliffs. Now they're, they're breeding, they're settling into the environment and we're starting to see them you know, modify the environment and, and do the sort of e ecosystem engineering that they're famous for. The diggings enable aeration of the soil. They create important uh, microclimates for shrubs and other vegetation to, to regrow and regenerate. Um, and this is a feature that's been absent from the environment for over 200 years. This project, in addition to contributing to the conservation of an iconic Australian animal really also is about restoring the function of that animal to the environment and recreating the kind of ecosystems that would have persisted over 200 years ago.